Okay, so today we are going to discuss uh, the various symptoms of the Parkinson's disease and they can be remembered by mnemonic BRIGHT. Now, the first thing that you have to remember B is bradykinesia, which is very important in these patients. Now, the bradykinesia, that is their, all of their movements are slow. That is, these patients find it really hard to initiate movement and once the motion are initiated, then they find it really hard to stop it. So, that is your uh, bradykinesia, that is, they find it very hard to initiate the movement. And due to this reason, their facial muscles, they don't... Uh, initiate that movement very well just like when you are expressing various type of expression so you move your facial muscles but the, since these patients can do that so they have mask like faces the next thing is rigidity now the rigidity is that they their bodies are rigid and how do you know that that once they are uh, moving so they don't swing their arms a normal patient will swing their arm when they are moving but these patients have rigid bodies and they won't swing their arm Moreover, they have a slow shuffling steps. Their gates uh, consist of slow, slow shuffling steps. Okay, and they find it really hard to start the movement. And then once it is started, they can't stop easily. So this is the reason that they lose the fluidity in their movements. So the normal transition from one movement to another is lost, and their bodies become kind of rigid. And due to this reason, they have uh, micrographia. Uh, they have a condition called as micrographia which is actually small writing so that is when uh, when they try to write something so like a normal per person they can't give the fluidity to their movement so as a result they have very small small writing so that is called as micrographia so so far we have covered bradykinesia and rigidity now let's move to i i is instability now the instability uh, is in two things that is instability in the uh, posture as well as there is instability in their blood pressure so the instability in the blood pressure lead to the orthostatic hypotension and due to this orthostatic hypotension these patients usually have frequent falls moreover their postural in instability is because they can stop the movement once they initiate it uh, so as a result these patients usually have a stooped forward posture that is they no, they are not uh, moving erect like this they have a posture like this stoop forward they are stoop forward so that is their instability in posture as well as blood pressure now the next thing in the mnemonic is g g is for glabular reflux now glabula is the region mainly in between your eyebrows so normally when you tap a normal person at the glabula what will happen that they will blink their eyes for one or two times but after that they will stop blinking but here in the patients of the parkinson's these patients does not stop blinking so as long as you keep tapping them at the glabula they will keep blinking their eyes so it is a pathological reflux this glabular reflux so it will be positive in parkinson's disease so we have covered brig now let's cover h h is for hyperhidrosis now hyperhidrosis is means that this patient will have very oily skin have tremendously oily skin and it is mainly due to some autonomic dysfunction and uh, they will also have lots of sweating and lots of oily skin so that is your uh, H that is hyperhidrosis let's move to the final thing that is your tremors T for tremors now this is a very main thing uh, in the patient of the Parkinson so these patients have coarse resting tremor that is the tremors will be present at rest unlike the cerebellar tremors which occurs once you start movement but here these tremors are present at rest and these are pill rolling tremor that is they will do like this so their tremors are like this this is like you are rolling a pin pill so uh, tremors like this will happen in these patients moreover these uh, these tremors goes away as you try to do something so once you tend to do try to do something so the tremor will go away and it is in opposing to the cerebellar tremors in the cerebellar tremors once you try to do something so the tremors then appear uh, and that is opposite to these uh, to the tremor in the parkinson so that's all of your symptoms main symptoms in the parkinson's disease the bradykinesia rigidity the instability in posture as well as instability in the blood pressure the glabular reflux the hyperhidrosis and the tremors so thank you.